Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Fantastic Five. This week we're counting down the five best doppelgangers in comics. When I say doppelgangers, I'm talking about villains who closely mirror the heroes they fight. Sooner or later, a superhero comes face to face with their opposite number. Someone who has the exact same powers, opposite motivations, and often looks like them too. Whether it's an evil twin, a clone, someone with the same origin, or just the guy who dresses up like you because he hates you so much, your evil doppelganger will eventually find you. Here's a few characters that didn't quite make the top 5 this week. Venom started out as an evil Spider-Man, but he's evolved into his own franchise. Sinestro was once the evil opposite of Green Lantern, but that's gotten diluted, as DC has introduced more and more Green Lanterns and Yellow Lanterns, plus lanterns in a bunch of other colors. The Crime Syndicate is a whole evil Justice League from another Earth, and they've been rebooted even more times than the regular Justice League. Magus isn't really an evil duplicate of Adam Strange, he's Adam Strange from the future, who happens to become evil. And the UFOs are an evil Fantastic Four who tend to fight everybody in the Marvel Universe except the Fantastic Four. But before my evil self gets here with a much worse list, I'd better tell you the top 5. Number 5. Professor Zoom, The Reverse Flash Professor Zoom, whose real name is Eobard Thawne, is so dedicated to being an evil version of the Flash that he not only calls himself the Reverse Flash, he wears the same costume as his nemesis, but in red on yellow instead of yellow on red. He was created by John Broom and Carmine Infantino, and first appeared in Flash number 139 back in 1963. You would think that someone called Reverse Flash would have the opposite of the Flash's powers, but there's not a lot of evil you can do being slow. Sorry, Turtle Man. So Thawn actually has the same speed powers the Flash does. In fact, he got them on purpose, along with cosmetic surgery to look like Barry Allen, because of his obsession with the Scarlet Speedster. He's from the future where all of this makes more sense somehow. But depending on what continuity you prefer, the Reverse Flash has murdered Barry Allen's wife and his mother, so he's definitely earned a place as one of the deadliest Flash enemies. Number 4. Cassandra Nova a Grant Morrison Frank Quitely creation, Cassandra Nova is the only character on this list who's literally an evil twin, specifically the evil twin of Professor Charles Xavier. Fetal Charles did his best to kill Cassandra in the womb because he could sense her evil, but she managed to survive and build herself a body with her vast psionic powers. Charles dedicated his life to making the world a better place for mutants, so naturally Cassandra killed 15 million mutants by destroying the island of Genosha. Then she came after the X-Men. The thing is, Cassandra believes that only she and her brother Charles are real and everything else is an illusion, and she's dedicated to shattering that illusion by killing everyone he cares about, and anyone else who stands in her way. She was eventually revealed to be a psychic entity called a Mamudrai, which doesn't exactly make her Charles' twin, it just makes her a lot more complicated. Number 3. Black Adam Thousands of years before Billy Batson became Captain Marvel, the wizard Shazam gave the same powers and pretty much the same costume to a man in ancient Egypt named Teth Adam. But the power went to his head and he became such a villain that Shazam banished him and decided the next time he'd only give the powers to an innocent child. So naturally, once Captain Marvel is doing his thing, Black Adam returns to Earth jealous and angry and looking for revenge, and with all the same powers as the hero. Back in 1945, Black Adam was only a one-shot villain in a story by Otto Binder and C.C. Beck. But when DC brought back all the characters from Fawcett Comics, they understood the importance of a good evil doppelganger, and he went on to become Captain Marvel's greatest enemy. He's even become an anti-hero from time to time, but sooner or later he just can't resist beating up on the big red cheese. Number 2. Wrath Batman's had quite a few doppelganger villains over the years. Prometheus, Owlman, Man-Bat I guess, and even Killer Moth who drove a Mothmobile and was summoned by criminals with a Moth signal. But the best evil Batman only appeared in one story, The Player on the Other Side by Mike W. Barr and Michael Golden. The man known as Wrath was the child of burglars who were killed by a cop. With no respect for the law and no regard for human life, the son grew up to be as disciplined and dedicated to his work as Bruce Wayne, except that Wrath's work is murder. He returns to Gotham after finding success as an assassin to take revenge on the man who killed his parents, Jim Gordon. As you can imagine, none of this is okay with Batman, who takes it all very personally. Although Wrath didn't stick around as a character, his one appearance is legendary among Batman fans, and nobody's ever done evil Batman nearly as well. And number one, Bizarro. The great thing about Bizarro is that he's not exactly an evil version of Superman. That's more General Zod's thing. Bizarro is simply Superman, but flawed. Deeply flawed. 
He's all the powers of Superman in the form of a Frankenstein monster who not only makes all the wrong choices, he prides himself on being backwards. After all, the thing that makes Superman Superman is that he always does the right thing for the right reason. So the anti-Superman is this creature who does the wrong thing for no reason at all. After he was created by Otto Binder and George Papp back in the Silver Age, he evolved into something of a comedy character with a whole cube-shaped planet of other bizarros who stole things at Christmas and dressed like attractive people for Halloween. In recent years, he's still funny a lot of the time and has even starred in his own humor series. But he can still be a big threat to Superman when it's what the story calls for, and even when he's not, he's a pretty embarrassing guy for the Man of Steel to have around. That's all for this week. Join us again next week for a list that looks just like this one, but lacks the same moral code. Thanks for watching this episode of Fantastic Five. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comics Alliance, and check out ComicsAlliance.com for more comics awesomeness.